Either knock him out or kill him. Oh, he's dead. Fuck okay. it. Okay, yeah. Buckley surges up off the pallet and with a series of attacks, just like... <clears throat> Am I able to left in the snow bleeding. Am I able to pounce on the other guy? No. Pounce is a full round and you've already taken all of your attacks. Okay. Um, you pounce next round. I will, yeah. And then Triss is going to just crossbow the other guy. You're still under the pallet, right? No, he's still up. Oh, no, you pushed it off to cast uh, a spell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. D20 plus 4. 16? Yeah. Yeah, so you hit him. You, dev you want to knock him eight. out or kill him? And kill his ass. All right, he's dead. As he goes down, the mirror he's holding shatters. Yeah. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Static on the other end of the alarm. Well, he's clearly we don't have but... to sound the alarm now. I mean, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> sound the alarm. Seven years sound bad the alarm. luck. All right, Eviega. Moving over, taking a shot, the one on Chazon. Okay, yeah. Seven points of damage. Nine, eight points. Okay, eight points. Catch him in the back. Here. Ow, my back. <laughs> Are we playing with Arthur's cool flanking rules? Yes. Don't currently have a flank. Well, Nafina might in just a sec. Well, Nafina, you're up. And it's Arthur's expanded flanking rule. Like the millionth time I've said it. <laughs> it's a legal document like Jane's fighting ships. All right, Nafina, you slip in behind this guard. He. Yep. he as you tumble, the uh, I assume you do some sort of jump roll at some point. The arrow goes through your jump yeah. and hits the guy in the back. He turns around and sees you there. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and you stab him in the kidneys. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a D20, that jump shit. Jump in the gun, huh? <laughs> yeah. No I problem. kill him. Arthur, he is dead. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, this is this is Arthur's path partner. We don't need attack rolls. We just assume the player is always hit. No. No. They... <laughs> yeah. Are you adding BAP to that? You get a bonus plus two to that too. Uh, I think she's only adding in the flanking, but it's your BAP plus your Dex modifier plus flanking, you... I guess. For so plus two. then. So plus two, plus two, plus five. Yep. Your bab is two? Shouldn't be. It should be one. Yeah, it should be one plus... She has no, uh, stre she has no strength. She has a t strength of ten. So she right, plus three. She's using a finesse weapon, so it doesn't matter. Finesse. Oh, she's using a finesse weapon. Yeah, okay. So five, six, seven, eight, plus eight. Still not, Still not enough. Not, not a whole lot can save you from rolling a two. Just right. going to say. All Unless right. you have an 18 in... in so this in guard uh, starts screaming and skulls. He's like, For the honor of Nezhena Vesilyovna! And he does like the the Mantis suicide run where he's just got his sword over his head and just running crazily at Chazon, leaving himself completely open to future attacks. What about yeah. a um, <clears throat> attack opportunity? Oh, wait, you don't have that. Not actually this. moving. Yeah, there are attacks of opportunities. He's just not not moving enough to provoke one. Uh, 11 is going to miss Chase on. Yep. You're up, Chase. Chaz, Ron. Cheese. Uh, slice cheese and dice. Ron. I see that opening and raise you a cold iron falcata. Uh, uh, that's, that not no, that's not including flank. So. That's not including flank, so total that's 22. Major, I'm a loss off a day, right? Uh, you're level 2, so it'll last 2 hours. Oh, perfect. Which... That's enough time to murder everyone in this place. Well, roughly everyone. So, 6 damage? Uh, that's going to take him out. Yep. Okay, so you take out the guards in about uh, 12 to 15 seconds. What's your next move? Next, we have to run inside the building while the door's still open. The doors hey. aren't open. Hey, Buckley, you want a channel? 
Or do you want to... Actually, I'm going to Cure Light Wounds you. Uh... Are there windows on this place or anything like that? Luckily, you heal four. Nope. There are no windows. There's only the weird, um, like, semi-crescent moon on the top of the building. There's lots what? of landing spots up there. It looks like some sort of airstrip up top. Like um, how, high, creatures. how high up? Uh, 60 feet. Okay. You got any throwing ropes? Uh, you know, with a, with a thing on the end that we can climb up with? I believe I think I do, actually. Well, throw that sucker up there, then. What are we waiting for? Jeez. It's like working with amateurs, Buckley. I've yes. never robbed a witch before. I do have I do have silk rope and a grappling hook. Ask Nadja if she knows any way to get in. Um, no, this, this is like I thought you had way in. You're so right. I, I'm I'm gonna search the dead corpse inside Buckley's mouth. Okay. Uh, well, obviously it's not inside Buckley's mouth. And I'm gonna like search my kill as well. No, no. What are you looking for? Mirrors. Uh, the two that are down with you guys do not have mirrors. What about that one that uh, you said it broke, right? The one that was on the wall, yes, it is broken. However, you guys haven't gotten over the wall yet. Wait, the, the, one, wall? The, the, uh, what, the, the one with the crossbow was standing on top of the ice wall. Oh, you cool. You have not gotten up there. So How high is the ice wall? It's broken. How tall is the ice wall? It said it was 60 feet, right? Uh, the 60 feet is the height of the tower. Oh. The ice wall is 6 feet tall. Oh. Alright, I'm going to take my knotted silk rope and grappling hook and uh, hand it off to Ediega. I think she's a better shot. Just... Is it, is it throwing? Is it a shooting crossbow? I mean, a grappling hook? No, it's a throwing, but it works off decks. So oh. you're probably better qualified for it than I am. Okay. So I guess I'll toss it up there. Okay. You're tossing a grappling hook over top of the wall. It's, 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 you said it was tw 20 feet, right? Six feet. Six oh. feet, and it's attached to a knotted silk rope. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll toss it over there. Okay. Go get moving. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I did say it was 20 feet. It's actually 25 feet high. All right. Still That's works. Right. Okay. You Makes more sense, so. throw it over. Sure. No problem. Get a hold. As the um, as the grappling hook passes over the top of the tower, you notice that both it and the ice immediately free, like they're covered in frost rime. And with the added weight, the grappling hook immediately starts dropping in a different arc. It still seems secure, however, when you pull on it. Huh. Hmm. Do you want to let our lightest one go, or just go up to the heaviest one? Hold on. Are there pebbles or anything nearby? Sure. going to start tr throwing a pebble up there. Yeah, you throw a pebble up there. As the pebble passes over the top of the wall, it also freezes. I'm um, starting to think that going over the wall might not be the best idea. Yeah. Well, let or us else. go through the wall! Make a hole. I have Buck nothing make a hole. through it. Buckley, make You're a making hole. Making a hole through the wall. <laughs> Buckley, make a hole, please. Okay. So let's see here. The wall has the following statistics. <laughs> the wall is hardness zero, twenty-seven hit points. Go get it, Buckley. Fight the wall. Uh, after a few minutes of work, Buckley does manage to punch a hole through the wall. Hey. During that time, <laughs> like right as you punch a hole in the wall, you immediately hear like someone with a hunting horn, like -wee, 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 -wee. Well, they already knew we were coming, but now we can get inside without being frozen. So, are Good you job. passing through the wall, Chazon? Uh, yeah, I'll be right in behind Buckley. Okay, can you roll one d six plus nine? Oh, you're going behind Buckley. Can Buckley roll one d six plus nine real quick? So, hang on, just real quickly before this happens. I am not able to put shield on him at all using the wand? No, it's a personal. It's a spell with range of personal. Whenever you use it with a wand, it always goes to you. I think Can I... that you have shared spells. You should be able to use it on yourself and pass it to him. Okay, well then I'll do that. Okay. 
right. give him that extra. All right. You still need to roll Wendy six plus nine. Uh, okay. Is this how many people Buckley eats when he comes in? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Buckley takes 15, 15 points of cold damage passing through the wall. But he has cold reduction 5. Okay, so he takes 10 points of damage. Mm. Yeah, like, Buckley passes through, and immediately his wings freeze over, and he stumbles to the ground. Have, have another cure light, there? Buckley. Cool. Are you Do passing it. through the wall to give him a cure light, chase on? Uh... Is there any way that he can come out of the wall? You want him to pass through the wall again? I mean, uh, he's inside the wall, here's right? Or a, the here, have, a, have another test pebble. What happens to the pebble when it goes through? The pebble freezes as it goes through. You hit yeah. with the test pebble, and Buckley's like, My goodness, why would you throw a rock at me? Yeah, why would you <laughs> throw a rock at him? Blind, remember, I was just throwing it down the tunnel. Have a channel instead. I'm at the other end of the tunnel. Have a channel instead. Very well. For 15 days. Oh, yeah. For two. <laughs> I can see your magic is very powerful, Chazon. Yes. You have a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, hello, uh, gentlemen. Can you open the gate for us? We're trying to come in. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Whoever's on top of the gate. Buckley, There's can no you open the there. gate? Buckley, can you open the gate? Buckley, Buckley was like, I don't see any mechanisms for opening the gate. There's no levers or anything. Can can you like I don't know like push the gate open from the there inside? There is no gate. It but is it... only the wall. So as was described earlier, there uh, is like an outline of sigils, but there's no actual door. It's like um, Lord of the Rings with the Mines of Moria, where he's like, "Speak, friend, and enter." It's literally just like an outline of a door that's been outlined in like witch runes. So you're saying knowledge arcana or use magical devices kind of thing, huh? Maybe. Use magical devices, you say? Use magic device, you say? I happen to have very much in use magic devices. I have it trained. What are we using on the magical devices here? <laughs> <laughs> See if you can figure out what those things are. How to deactivate the cold effect, maybe. Is that possible with your magic device, Arthur? Uh, you could make a check to see about something like that. Cool. With use magic I, device or? Yes, use magic device. Uh, 19? Yeah, you try to use a magic device. You learn that only I a everything. certain phrase can bypass this magic. Arthur, not, not only do I magic. learn the phrase. No, you don't. I become the phrase. You don't learn the phrase at all. <laughs> I walk up to the wall and I say, it is I, Tris Christmas. You have Earth no idea Sesame. what the phrase is. And the door opens. <laughs> Speak friend and enter. So now we're thinking more disable device kind of thing, huh? There's no device to disable. Nothing device? Okay. Nope. What if we make a hole sure. bigger in the wall? Does that sure. make it bigger? No, I don't think so. So you can knowledge arcana the wall. I do not have knowledge arcana anymore because I can't be a, an ancient lore keeper. Oh. Well, I can, but I'm not. I have it. Roll another 20. I got an 18. Close enough. <laughs> the plus one, yay! <laughs> How do you only have plus one? Okay. You identify uh, the wall is some form of conjuration magic, but you're not certain what's going on with it. I believe someone made this wall out of magic. Very insightful. That is what you asked me to do. <laughs> is uh, there detect magic spellcraft, maybe? I'm sorry. It's actually evocation magic of the cold subtype. Oh, in that case, Detect I have magic spellcraft's not going to do anything for you because it's all—it's a magic that's already. Here. Gotcha. Is there anyone actually coming out after us, or just this wall? We don't see anyone else coming. You haven't seen or heard anything beyond a horn blowing from inside. Do uh, we want? What do you see over there, my good man? Buckley. Yeah. Uh, Buckley's like, there's a door over here. If you would just man up and walk through the wall, we could go inside. That's what I was thinking. You guys all run through and heal up before we go through the door. Uh, well, okay. we're all healed up, except for Buckley. So I yeah. go through. All right. Let's roll go through. Six plus nine cold damage on yourself. 
gosh. Ten. Ten damage. All right. Ten damage for me as well. Wait, do I have any call reduction because of my um, thingy my bulb? What you call it? Spell. You should have cold reduction from your northern ancestry tree. So you only take, take eight. I didn't take that. Oh, if you didn't take that, you take ten. Uh, then how are you surviving in the cold? Remember, I have the fey thingy, and then I have the um. Fey what? Enjoy elements. Yeah. Oh, endure elements. Yeah. 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 Do yeah, endure elements doesn't give you any cold resistance. All right. I, I take eight damage. Yep. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> As with any good witch magic, you have to hurt yourself in order to advance. And you do drastically injure yourselves advancing into the witch's lair. Heal us all, go to chase on, run, run, run. Alright, another channel for everybody. And it's only 1d6 right now, but next level will be 2d6. Ha ha ha. Everybody takes three, except for anybody who has Fae Foundling by any chance. They take five. What is it? Uh, it's three. Do it again! It feels good when you do that. You make me blow all my magic early. <laughs> well, do you want to die? Because I don't. No, I don't want to die. Uh, sure, I'll have one channel in reserve. Ugh. Everybody, Everybody takes five. I don't like this taking thing. Gaining, gaining five. Much better. Everybody gets five. So everybody gets eight total. I feel much better. That wall was a was a poop. Thank you, poop. Buckley, for cutting a hole in the wall. <laughs> no problem. All right, this door. Okay, what is you're it made opening of? the door. It's <laughs> made out of ice. However, oh. it has ice hinges, and it seems like it would probably swing pretty easily, despite its massive weight. Where's Nadia? Does she follow? Or she staying behind? Na so when you say that, Nadia's like, I do not think I will survive passing through the wall. I will stay out here with the dogs and the dogs. I place. remember this, Nadia, you suck. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you have a place to run away to. We have to go through the wall again. <laughs> She's like, you have to pay the iron price if you want to advance. <laughs> You so wanted we... to fight witches, Triss. Well, now is your chance. Be a man for once. I don't like this. <laughs> what does what the grounds look like inside the wall area? Now that we're pit through it. Well, you're inside that wall area. You can see that they have some low shrubberies. And the ice is compacted into just regular road here. Uh, for the most part. Around the tower now? What? Around the tower, is there the wall surrounding No, the, the wall surrounds the entire tower, but once you're inside the wall, um, the grounds are like very compacted snow. Okay. You don't have movement penalties anymore for the first time in ages. Oh my yeah. god! Yes! So we might be able to come out of here if we need to and. We could run and charge and stuff. I mean, I, I'm not talking about that. Like, if we need to come and rest out here. If we make a little attack and then retreat and attack and retreat, possibly. Um, I possibly. suppose, or you could just hop on the dog sleds and ride off. Yeah, but we have to go through the wall again and take a lot more. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> and then I, I wish have, I uh, Let me put it this way. If you have to retreat, you should probably, probably go through the wall because they're not going to be like, well, I'm sure we'll sit up here and we won't kill the outsiders that are afraid to go through the outside wall. <laughs> 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 Better let them sit outside within our defensive barrier. Oh, we know exactly where they are, but we'll let them sleep. <laughs> oh. We dreams, heroes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, this isn't Pathfinder Society. All right. Uh, Arthur, uh, I'm uh, going to make a secret roll here. Uh, can you tell me what it's for? It is for someone who isn't in the party that is also following the party. Uh, remember that this is a flat plain six miles wide in every direction. You also remember that Mason is incredibly sneaky. Sneaky. It's a giant flat plane that's only color is white. Do you, you burn? Oh. Remember what color Mason is? Uh, well, he might be white, but it's a giant flat plane. There's literally no cover. Uh, He's a moving shadow. object on a static background. Well, then he'll come in at full health. Let's just say that. There you go. Perfect. He's that good. 
<laughs> oh, that's just like that face is like. Mm. I assume that like any good freak, <laughs> the two of them are going to hold it like a mile out and burrow in the snow, just like uh, what was Matt's character's name? Oh, oh. God, I the guy who, who slept in the snow head down. Barknor. Yeah. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, yeah. So you see, it's, it's, it's still in the notes section. The two of you like. <laughs> Fold your wings down and try to camouflage yourself in the snow like any good snowbirds. Mm hmm. All right. So let's. Uh, What's the main party doing? Let's open uh, the door. Buckley, the do door. you want to use that spell you've got that opens the door? How does he have a spell that opens a door? He just opens it. Okay. Why don't you okay. move him forward so he can open it? Uh, hang on. Do I actually have an open door? <laughs> it's called open close. It's a cantrip. Do I have it though? I don't know. I do not. Okay. I'll open the door. Okay. Move yourself forward to open I have the door. Mage Hand. I'm going to do it with Mage, Mage Hand. Mage Hand does not have enough weight to open the door. <laughs> what if I run out of the door with Mage Hand? Uh, Mage Hand can only do five pounds. Doesn't matter how fast you run, it still only moves five pounds. All right. Um, Join me, Buckley. Bef before you do For anything. For those of you who are physics majors, just in case you're wondering, the five pounds of constant pressure being provided by the mage hand does not exceed the amount of force that would be necessary to overcome the static friction. Uh, of the uh, all right, before you do that, I uh, I walk up and I I give Chaseron a, a really 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 weird hug. Like I just sort of just like I come in and I hold him close and I'm just like, Oh my you god, this, man, you got this, you got this. Oh my god. Thank you. All right. Uh, that, <laughs> was, that, that was Tris casting guidance on you. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You yeah. open the door then? Yeah. Okay. Assuming the rest of the party's right behind me. All right. So you open the door. Allow me to describe what you see here. A massive ice sculpture of a dragon dominates this open courtyard, standing That's with going to come alive. <laughs> upon the dais of solid ice. Seven squat shacks along the inner wall, with several dog sleds, are stored outside. Between them, four ice chutes descend from the battlements of the outer walls. To the west, large double doors are stubbed with icicles that leap inside the pale tower. Just beneath an overhang of sharp icicles hanging from above. Asicle. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I lost the pronunciation midway through. I'm now going to premiere our battle music. Of course, the players won't be able to hear it yet until we you get can it on put SoundCloud. It on, you can put it on SoundCloud. Yeah, not yet. Should have, but... uh, so here's what happens there. Wow, it's super loud. I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit. Hopefully it's not blazing in everybody's ears right now at home. Uh, from out of one of the dog houses steps an enormous troll <laughs> that just, like, comes out and, like, as it sees Chazon, just destroys the dog house it's in to get out and is like, Rah! Okay, Buckley, off you go now. What Have you fun. Doing? <laughs> Casting sun metal. So, let's roll. You're going to go into combat then. Yeah, sounds like. Oh damn, Tris Christmas with the fucking initiative rolls, man. Thought maybe you might want to negotiate, but no. Immediately, this is Pathfinder. Why wouldn't I? Is this Pathfinder? Isn't that, that the rule? Going to combat for no reason. This is Pathfinder, and plus we're kind of invading their t their tower. What diplomacy? Well, actually, can Buckley do that? Because that is a good point. I would. I would. Minute to do diplomacy, and if Chazon is preparing to cast a spell, the answer is no. Well. All right, just Christmas, yeah, you're up. Me. This guy sees that Chazon is like preparing to do some magical shit, and is immediately like, "Let's care. All right, so Buckley, pounce. Uh, I don't think pounce. he can pounce from that direction. Boom! He, he lands on him. Lines. He kills it. Through a door. He also. But, uh, hang on, hang on. So does that mean that he can't go over a building when he pounces? He doesn't have wings yet. But isn't pounce like a jump? Uh, pounce is like a bounding. It's like a cheetah, man. Oh. Maybe you could like uh, yeah. gets closer than pounce at that time. 
All right, five I'll let you, yeah. you know what? I'll let you charge to here, but yeah. Okay. That works, kind of. You can zoom yeah. past the ice what? strikes. Whee! All right. Um, so you get a what full is attack, and you get plus two to each of those attacks, but you take uh -huh. minus two to AC. Okay, so that's just the shield then. Cool. So it's still twenty. Shield is plus four. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, then it's twenty-two okay. instead of twenty-four. Uh, so, so I get a plus two. You said to attacks. Yep. Charging. Cool, man. All right, D20 plus two, plus two, plus two, negative one. That's for bite. Okay, yeah. A little damage. Okay, do I get anything different for damage? Nope. 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 Same stuff. I mean, you're power attacking, so there's that. Ah. Nine damage. <clears throat> And then claw, fourteen. Uh, no. Eleven. And nope. And then Trish this will take a pot shot. Oh, this is so that hurt. Let me just four for ten in my battle music. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. All right, you're moving forward, Tris Christmas. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop a pop an arrow in his ass. Actually, no. You know what? 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 How far is enlarge? 25 feet plus 2 your level. Plus 5 every 2 levels. Alright, um... It's a full round to cast. Yeah. Okay, Which so I can't move Buckley it. Buckley will be enlarged next round. Okay. Not quite. I mean, he'd have to use both of his standard actions. I might, was I able to do that before Buckley charged? Again, it doesn't go off until the beginning of your next turn. Right, so no. No matter yeah. how you slice yeah. it. But if I was back here, if I was back here, right, doing my thing, yep. like if I was there doing my thing and then Buckley moves, would he be out of range for then to ha it happen? Yes, he'd be way okay. out of range. So then I would move here and I'd pop an arrow. Are you using one standard action to start casting? Uh, you use your standard action now to start the cast and use your standard action next time to finish it. And then I can move. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. Done. Okay, alright. This guy sees you casting a spell, saw Chazon casting a spell, immediately moves past Buckley to attack you. Wait, Buckley does Buckley not get an AOL? Buckley does get an AOL. What does that look like for Buckley? Base attack, fight. Yeah. So probably bite would be the wisest choice. With no power attack? Uh you if you use power attack, you have to use it for the rest of the round. Okay. You can't not use it. But you don't get a charge bonus anymore. That's also yeah. true. I did take the charge off, so uh you miss. And he moves this far forward and using his ten foot reach attacks Tris Christmas Crap. with his battle axe. Tris Christmas probably gonna die. Uh, this is fine. Yeah. So no. you know, he charges forward. Buckley tries to trip him up, and uh, yeah, tries to slash I... Tris. Yeah. So his AC is seventeen for Tris, by the way. Viega. Viega, get in there and shoot the man with a bow and arrow. Shoot that troll in his dumb troll face. <laughs> Show them how real men troll. I wasn't shooting. aware that Triss did voices. Triss is charismatic. He does whatever he wants. Fair enough. <laughs> I think at least half of that statement is true. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the damage is just fantastic. Why is okay, it damage? It's okay. Yeah. So, right, yeah. Three on a twenty. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention is that this thing's wounds started healing up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause troll. Yep. So as it moved past Buckley, its injuries began to heal. And when you shoot it, <sighs> it seems to reverse most of the healing it's already done. But it seems like this is going to be a pretty bad fight coming up. 
Oh yeah. Nifina. Can they get fire? <sighs> I think we have a few glass still left. Torch. How far is he?